if they turn the lights out on Michigan, the last thing we're going to need is some water. The state with the largest freshwater reservoirs in the world. We never dreamed this process would produce the poisoning of a city of 100,000 people. People have got brown water, orange water, nearly black water. Flint's water woes continue. Environmentalists and health officials are now speaking up, saying Flint residents have nothing to worry about. They contend the quality of the river water meets all state and federal standards. I just came home from the hospital. I don't lost my baby. What is in the water that pregnant women shouldn't? You know, they should have been telling me this back when I found out I was pregnant. But I'm not so sure Flint is the community we want to go out on a limb for. We essentially declared war on two branches of government. I would say with our students, this water crisis has been trauma. So I've had parents say, my child was never aggressive. This is a gentle child. But now... They made it worse. Flint is worse off than when the state took them over. Far worse off. The emergency management isn't designed to really benefit the public. When we talk about the poison water in Flint, we say, this is what dictatorship looks like. There are things that are happening now that people would have, would have laughed at, you know, 10, 15 years ago in terms of a reality, but they're happening in Flint, Michigan. No, I do not trust the water. I probably will never trust the water, and this is three years later. And even if I did have the money, I'm still poisoned to get, we can't get out.